Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marlies, Marley Design. For today I would like to create something with a fabric, Tim Holtz collage paper and some Distress spray stain. The tutorial for today will be very, very easy, quick and simple to make, so it is very beginner friendly. Let's get started. I will start with my fabric first so I can make a basic structure. My starting point for today is this fabric. This is a cotton based fabric. Um, it is quite thick, it is firm, it's sturdy. I will cut out some shapes like tags or labels or strips of fabric which we can use to work on. When you want to cut a tag shape it is more easy that you already have uh, a tag a tag shape and that you can cut around and I will cut double layers of fabric. Okay, so for today's video I have cut two tags and two labels to work on. What I would like to do is to bring in some colors because this is very clear and just one tone of color. So I would like to change that. I will use the Distress Spray Stain Hickory Smoke and Picket Fence. Now that we have some color on, I will put this to the side so it can dry. My tags and labels are totally dry and when they are dry uh, they, they, yeah, they are more like sturdy, they are a bit crispy. And what I would like to do next is to add something in the background to make these pieces a bit more interesting. I will do that with this collage paper from Tim Holtz out of the ideology line. I will glue the collage paper down with the Distress Collage Medium and a brush. I have glued the collage paper onto the fabric, but I also want to add a layer of collage medium on top of the collage paper. And I'm doing that because I want to try to see if I can blend in the collage paper even more in the background. I will let the top layer of collage medium dry and after that I will cut off the excess of the collage paper. I have put all the pieces in front of me so I can see what uh, I want to change or what I want to add to the project. 
and I really like these darker areas uh, also on top of here. Here I am missing that a bit, so I will add some extra color. With the Distress Spray Stain Hickory Smoke, also in the background you have areas that are quite clear, and I would like to add a text stamp to those areas. I did some extra coloring. I have stitched along all the sides twice and I did some stamping in the background. And of course you might think, well, you are already working with hickory smoke in the spray stain. Uh, why hickory smoke not that visible in an ink in the background for the ledger script stamp? But I want that softness. I do not want it to be black and very obvious. I want it to blend in. So for now I have two tags and two labels and I want something on, well for these two on the sides, you know, like you can pull or like a tab, you can pull it out if you are putting it into a journal. And on the tags I would like something on the top. I got out the same fabric that we used as our base and I will color this with the Distress Oxide Spray Black Suit. The strips of fabric are dry and I found this. It's not really lace. It also does not feel like lace or fabric. It is more like, yeah, some kind of light plastic or um, all kinds of threads glued together. But I do like it as an accent for the tab on the sides or the top of the labels and tags. For every label and tag I will cut a piece of the fabric and a piece of the black, well, kind of lace that I just showed you. And I will pin that down with these pins from Tim Holtz from the Ideology line. And this is my result for today. I am very, very satisfied with how it turned out. All neutral colors, not a very heavy color palette, um, simplicity, easy to make. And what also is important, that you do not need a whole lot and a whole range of products to create these pieces. I mean, it is just a piece of fabric, collage paper, some spray stains, collage medium, a bit of the black fabric on top, and the pin. Yeah, that's it. I also think that this project is very beginner friendly. It is not that difficult and it is quick to make. I hope you also want to give it a try. Uh, when you do and you take a picture and you will post it on your socials, yeah, feel free to tag me because I really want to see. And it is also nice for me that I can leave a comment or give a like. The products that I have used today will be in my description box below, so you can check it out. I have also put some links in my description box, links to my social media accounts, a link to my coffee shop, 
if you want to buy me a coffee. And there is also a link for my Etsy store where I sell my digital papers. When you are new to my channel, you can also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. And when you want to show me some love and support, please like or comment down below. That will be a good thing for my algorithm for my videos. Thank you for being here and spending time on my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Have a marvelous day. Bye.